is serratiopeptidase. If you know the names of those enzymes, those are two proteolytic enzymes. But generally, they're just under the heading of protease. And then the animal source enzymes we know is trypsin, chymotrypsin, and pancreatin. All of these enzymes have effectively have the same function in the body. They have the ability to break down protein. And so this is how they help within the body. Enzyme supplements take the load off the body um, and help uh, reduce the energy required in many ways, giving the body more energy to overcome the issue. Um, we have a quote here from uh, some recent research, enzymes help expose antigens on the surface of cancer cells. Again, just supporting the fact that two issues at at, at, are the problem, identifying it, number one, and overcoming it, number two. This is another very interesting connection to cancer. It's a thrombophilic connection. A thrombosis is just the ability or, or the presence of blood clots in the body, which can have devastating effects. Uh, we can stroke as a result of inappropriate clots. We can have a heart attack as a result of inappropriate clots. And there are, I venture to say, a hundred studies or more on the connection between the heightened state of the body being ready to clot and cancer. So you have this enormous amount of protein in the blood, which means that it's in a heightened state to clot, which also, by the way, is an indication of inflammation. This is an inflammatory response. There's a lot of research right now that helps us to appreciate that as inflammation becomes an issue in our body, the body goes on a heightened state to clot. And this clotting effect is what we believe is what is giving the cancer cells what it needs to protect itself from detection and being overcome. So if you can remove the excess fibrin from the blood, then you can overcome the risk of this being an issue, this thrombophilic risk. This is just quoting one, uh, one possible uh, study, and, and there's, there's access to much more. What you see on the screen is uh, actually cross-linked protein. It's this fibrin. That, uh, that is linked up. There's a difference between cross-linked protein and fibrin. There's a difference between fibrin and blood clots. It's all kind of connected. What we see here is kind of the first stage of, of clotting. It's not a clot, but it's an excess of fibrin or cross-linked protein with red blood cells. And this creates thick blood, it creates high blood pressure, and it creates cardiovascular stress. In addition to that, it is believed to be connected with uh, the proliferation of uh, cancer. So there are uh, a couple of ways uh, that we look at it today. Um, or, uh, these are actually just a couple of quotes. Uh, this is from uh, two books, uh, Enzymes, the Fountain of Life, and, and actually a, a study, uh, just to kind of supporting what we already know. Enzyme therapy has earned a special position as an ethical, rational, and highly promising preventative measure. Uh, you probably are aware of, of much of this work. The benefits of digestive enzymes, number one, we may be consuming supplements by the handfuls that we're not benefiting from. Uh, there are cancer patients and people that are trying to prevent cancer, or there may be cancer risk in their family, that could take 20, 30, 40, 50 supplements a day. To better benefit from these supplements, an enzyme should be recommended, period. Number two, if they're not eating raw food on a regular basis, fasting on a regular basis, or restricting calories on a regular basis, a supplemental enzyme with every meal is highly recommended to reduce the energy consumption of the digestive system and increase metabolic enzyme production. <clears throat> so the practical approach, as we can see here, raw food, very important. Uh, if you don't eat raw food on a regular basis, make it a habit today. And it's amazing what one meal a day will do for you if it's completely raw. It is, I, I make it my, my breakfast. Normally it's my breakfast with fruit in the morning. Uh, but it can be a salad, a raw salad at lunch. But make one meal a day raw. This has an effect on the physiology that doesn't cost you an additional nickel. It's the food you're going to eat anyway. There's no supplement purchase. Just buy good, healthy, organic, raw food. Support digestion by um, what we've already discussed. Digestive enzymes is one opportunity to do that. Reduce inflammation. There are enzymes that are known to reduce inflammation to prevent the mechanism 
for this heightened response to clotting. Uh, those enzymes include bromelain, papain, pancreatin, and others. Reduce thrombosis. If you've read any of the studies on natokinase, there's some phenomenal work on this enzyme. Minimum 17 studies. I, I believe there are up to 19 or 20 now, but I know for sure there's a minimum of 17 studies showing how it breaks down that fibrin that we saw in, in the one slide, that cross-linked protein, reducing the risk. And enhance immune function. The immune system is absolutely dependent upon proteolytic enzymes to function in a proper state. Enzymes help to do this. Uh, this was uh, written from a book, and I wish I had the book. The word odyssey is in the book. It uh, has something to do with uh, knowledge of the last 100 years. I wish I brought the, the, the title of the book with me. But I carry this quote with me at every presentation because I firmly believe in this. The more we come to know, the more we realize how little we know. Everything we have learned is nothing compared to what we have yet to learn. And I'm a firm believer in that. Even though we've made huge strides in this particular illness uh, with regard to cancer and other serious illnesses and enzyme therapy, I feel that the future is bright. Additional research is, is upcoming, and uh, we'll be able to prove once and for all that this is a legitimate therapy. Thank you very much for your attention.